I see my mandate as really pretty simple. I mean, it's the, the Hindu as a paper commands enormous respect as uh, as an authoritative voice for uh, what is happening in India. Uh, a, a paper that doesn't mix news and views. A paper that uh, uh, gives prominence to important social, economic, international, you know, political developments. Um, so my the way I see my mandate is really to. Uh, continue along that path, but to do so in a way that is more contemporary, more vibrant, that is more more attractive and uh, interesting for readers. Uh, there is a reputation that Hindu has earned over the years, not uh, entirely justified, but this is the perception that uh, the paper is quite heavy to read, is stodgy, uh, and to the extent to which uh, I, uh, I can, the idea is really to um, get everybody to make make it more, more vibrant, more interesting read. I see not just a Hindu, but all papers increasingly having to contend with uh, the rise of the internet, right? Right now, our circulations are not affected. Circulation continues to grow even as internet grows. But I wonder how long that situation will, will, will continue. I think all of us need to have a plan mm. to deal with growing internet uh, readership and internet access. Coupled with this is another challenge that papers like the Hindu, which are in English face, which is that the Indian media space is going to see for the first time and is already seen for the first time, uh, large numbers of people coming in who want to consume media, who want to read and want to see things, uh, and who are not necessarily conversant of that fluent in English. Uh, so how do we attract uh, these readers or these viewers? And uh, uh, you know, starting a paper in, in Tamil or Hindi, Malayalam is a, is, a, is a pretty daunting prospect. So what we have done is to use our website mm. to provide voice, to provide audio. So we take uh, all of our editorials and important articles and we uh, translate them into Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam. Uh, we're going to soon start doing in Hindi and Kannada as well, uh, which are the languages where our five, you know, uh, where our editions come out, the local languages there, uh, and make these available as podcasts on our website. In the expectation that over the next year or two, uh, when um, smartphones become more common, become cheaper to access, and when 3G plans become more affordable, that many uh, non-English speakers will turn to the Hindu for uh, getting uh, uh, news, getting analysis perspective. Two things, it signaled that you uh, uh, directly, I suppose, because the ad was, was, in, a, was in a way res in response to the Times of India's ad against the Hindu, so that you know, we, this is not the old Hindu that is going to take, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, take things lying down, but you know this is a, this is an aggressive Hindu. This is a Hindu that is confident about itself. But the other was a broader point, which is that you know newspapers uh, really have a role to play in a society like ours. That they need to inform, they need, they need to educate, they need to analyze. And for heaven's sake, if you're a reader, if you're involved in the news business, don't uh, lower the standard and quality of our newspapers. Don't focus on trivia. Don't focus just on gossip. Uh, all of that has its there's a time and place for that. But the primary role of a newspaper is to raise the level of awareness in society about the problems that we have to deal with. When Garcia uh, did the Hindu design, it, it was about maybe five or six years ago. Every design has a life, and I don't think we've fully exhausted that life yet. There's still plenty that we need to exploit from within the current design. Uh, so we are you know, actively you know, pushing the limits of, of the Garcia design. And I think coming up with things that people are saying uh, you know, are quite attractive, quite innovative. Uh, and we never really experimented too much with that, mainly because, uh, like, with, like with many other papers, reporting and, and design and the desk existed in their own separate silos, with very little communication. So one of the tasks that I have set myself to do is to physically, literally and metaphorically, break down the walls, separating different departments. I want desk people to be more active in informing in the kind of reportage that we do. I want our reporters to be more active in, uh, in, in planning uh, the way the story should look, the final product. Uh, so this idea that you have these departments who are, uh, have a wall between them, this, this is really old, old journalism.